Capitalizing on the Trump tax cuts in our flourishing national economy, this year's state budget is a direct reflection of five consecutive years of successfully defeating Wolf's relentless efforts to raise taxes and massively increase spending. Without question, the best news for Pennsylvania taxpayers is that the final budget package does not include Wolf's most devastating economy-crashing priorities. Once again, there are no increased taxes and no mandatory minimum wage increase for employers that, according to recent studies, would lead to tens of thousands of lost jobs. Fueled primarily by imposing a job-killing natural gas severance tax, Wolf's $4.5 billion, quote, Restore PA borrowing scheme was also rejected. This major victory was followed by the governor's equally crippling carbon emissions tax and cap driven regional greenhouse gas initiative not being included as part of the final state budget. As majority chairman of the House Environmental Resources and Energy Committee, I guarantee Wolf's extreme attempts to overtax and overregulate our Commonwealth's energy-enabled economy will never see the light of day on my watch.